I've often said this, but it bears repeating. There is no loyalty in the land of Donald Trump. He absolutely has no loyalty to anyone, not even his family, only loyalty to himself. But even the people around him aren't that loyal to Donald unless he's giving them money and access and influence and power. And when that dries up, there's no loyalty from them to Donald either. And this applies even to people like Rudy Giuliani, who's worked with Donald Trump for many years and has been quite loyal. But as we know, he is in massive trouble right now. He's got his own lawsuits. He has no money. He can't afford to pay his own lawyers. He is facing penalties independent of Donald Trump that could send him away to prison for the rest of his life. And so a lot of people are saying that he is getting ready to turn the screws on Donald Trump. Not only is this connected to a story from a couple months ago where former Trump employees are getting ready to sue him him if he doesn't help pay their legal bills, but it may explain why he's signaling he's willing to talk to the January 6th committee. He has been by Trump's side. There's been tension at times, um, and Trump has pushed him away, but then pulled him back. But there's no question that Giuliani knows uh, more than, than anyone about all of these machinations behind the scenes. But there's so much that we don't know before we get to that point. Giuliani has not ever indicated a willingness to assist law enforcement uh, against Trump or anyone else. He's been under investigation in the Southern District for a long time. Uh, His cooperation there may keep him out of jail. His cooperation with January 6th doesn't keep him out of jail. So there's more incentive for him to cooperate in a criminal investigation. I suspect that Mike is is hitting the nail on the head that a couple of different options here. One, I think he may be floating this to show Trump that he can cooperate, he can reveal a lot that would be damaging to Trump because Donald Trump has reportedly refused to pay Rudy Giuliani's legal bills, even though Trump has been raking in campaign cash Uh, and using RNC money to pay for his own legal bills. He could absolutely use some of his campaign money to pay for Giuliani's legal bills, and he is not. And this might be a shot across the bow to say, hey, buddy, you better be careful because I could go in and reveal a whole lot about you, so you might want to take care of me. So that's a really good argument there. I think that's a very persuasive argument because as it notes, Rudy Giuliani is facing penalties from the J6 committee around the fake elector scheme, but the thing he's being hit with in New York is irrelevant there. Rudy Giuliani could flip on Donald Trump and could say everything he knows and agree to become a witness against Trump in exchange for immunity from federal things but that still leaves him with years of potential prison and millions of dollars of legal bills in the state of New York, which he can't afford to pay right now. And so his only option, his only option is to use this to either get together with the other lawyers, as it's been talked about. Maggie Haberman reported on this back in January, saying that there's a group of Trump lawyers and staffers getting ready to pursue legal action if Donald Trump doesn't pay them, or say to Trump, I have all the dirt. I understand I can't necessarily save myself here, but I need you to pay my legal bills. If you pay my legal bills and you take care of me in the Southern District of New York, I won't sink you in Washington at the January 6th committee. I don't know if it's going to work. Donald Trump is incredibly cheap, but Rudy Giuliani needs to realize that he needs to spill every piece of dirt he has on Donald Trump to save himself, and he's got to sue him at the same time to get his money.